Deployment Diagram from BSCPE 1-1 What is Deployment Diagram? It is a type of diagram that specifies the physical hardware on which the software will execute, determines how software deployed, maps the software pieces of a system to the device that are going to execute it. Also, it is used so that we can figure out how data flows through the network. Purpose of a Deployment Diagram Here are some purposes of a deployment diagram. Aside from these purposes, it also shows the structure of the runtime system. It models physical hardware elements and the communication path between them. It is useful for documenting the deployment of software components. Deployment diagrams are important for visualizing, specifying, and documenting embedded client or server and distributed systems. A deployment diagram is just a special kind of class diagram which focuses on a system nodes. Deployment Diagram Notations First one is nodes. Could be hardware or software. Second is artifacts. Concrete elements that are caused by a development process. Third one is communication association, the path of communication between nodes. Devices are nodes that is used to represent a physical computation resource in a system. Lastly, deployment specifications, a configuration files. It describes how an artifact is deployed on a node. In this example, we use the deployment diagram to show the library system management. It starts in the node's vendor server and it flows to the artifact, which is the internet, to access the library LAN server. And thus users use the port console nodes to access the library. In example number two, we use the deployment diagram in online banking transaction system template. First, we have client, desktop nodes, which the client uses first, then it flows to the web service node, then it flows to the application server nodes that have an artifact software of which the user uses the statements and fund transfer. Then it flows to the data storage, which have an artifact account details and customer details. In example number three, we use the deployment diagram to show the application deployment to Android. The Android applications are written in Java. Android SDK tools compile and package the code along with any required data and resource files into Android application archive file, having that APK suffix. Android applications are composed of one or more app components, such as activities, services, content providers, and broadcast receivers. Each component performs a different role in the overall application's behavior. The manifest file describes application requirements such as the minimum version of Android required and supported hardware configurations. And it also declares all components in the applications. <laughs>